is one very strange thing about the suggestion that there could be 100 billion barrels of oil under the wheel. We asked UCOG if they had deliberately exaggerated their results. And we got a response from the man who was the CEO at the time of the big announcement, Steve Sanderson. He declined to be interviewed, but he denied that the 100 billion figure came from them. He says that they just announced the 158 million figure as an estimate per square mile solely at Horse Hill. He points out that AIM asked UCOG to put out a clarification of press comment a week later. We restated what we said on the 9th of April to make it crystal clear that we were not sanctioning the 100 billion number used by the media or that the company was the source of that number. The 100 billion barrel figure was based on the media, not UCOG, applying a multiple to the oil in place number per square mile we had announced. At no point did either the company, myself as CEO or Mr Lenegas, sanction the 100 billion number for the wield. We can find no evidence of such claims being made, and we believe none exist. So we trawled through all the news interviews we could lay our hands on, and we couldn't find any evidence either. But then we looked at untransmitted interviews and found this. How much oil is there in the wield? Well, based on what we found here, I think we're looking at between 50 and 100 billion barrels of oil in place in the ground. Stephen Sanderson is known to be a respected figure in the oil industry, so the BBC correspondent accurately reported what he said. And that's why all the media was referring to 50 to 100 billion barrels. Steve Sanderson also told us... Mr Lenegas went to lengths on the 9th of April 2015 to distance himself from the 100 billion barrels comments floating around the media on BBC World at around noon that day. And here is David Lenegas going to lengths to distance himself from the 100 billion barrels. I just want to clarify the 100 billion number that seems to be floating around. That's other people's views. All, we're, all I'm really allowed to comment on is Horse Hill, which is just the tip of the iceberg on this on this it's whole wheel. the field, that's the area. Horse Hill's right? the area where we just drilled the new well. Right. And, you know, we've identified 158 million barrels per square mile. We have 55 square miles there, and the wheel basin is 1,100 square miles. So it's a vast, vast potential resource. Being able to raise money for companies is a skill, and Lenigas is good at it. He is just somewhat, sometimes somewhat aggressive in his claims. Three months later, David Lenigas resigned as chairman of UCOG. The shares he originally bought for £22,000 two years ago are now worth approximately £1.2 million.